Hi guys and welcome. This is a little a triad between Maybelline and Maybelline. The Colossal and the Lash Lift. So I'm going to try these, show you and uh, we'll see what happens. Which one is what? Do you know? So keep watching and uh, see what I think, which one I like the best and which one I think did the best for my little eyes. Keep watching. So today we are going to have a battle between two of Maybelline's mascaras. And uh, the first one is the Falsies Lash Lift, this one. And the second one is the Colossal. And this is the waterproof one. So I want to try and see which one is better. I have, as you can see, I'm going to show you that. <clears throat> very, 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 very small and tiny eyelashes. They're blonde, they're thin, they are small. So I'm going to see which one of these two is the best one for me. But first, I'm just going to put some uh, foundation on uh, just to, <laughs> to not look this dreadful. So I'll see you back in a second. Okay, so at least a little bit better. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't look as pale. This is um, my first trying this out, so we'll see. I haven't, as you can see, it's not full uh, face thingy. It's uh, my my eyes are still as they are, and I do have a little scar here. If you're wondering what that is, right, let's try the mascara. So remember then what my eyes look like before and I'm gonna start with the falsy lash lift Let's see what happens we start by looking at this and it's got this cute brush it is a um, hourglass shape to the brush it's very big so let's see if this works or not I need a mirror. And I always apply mine. I mean, I'm not an expert in this, but I always go from the inside and out pretty much. And because my eyelashes are so thin, I really, really, really need more than one layer. So I'm going to start by applying this one. That's the first layer. Of the falsy lash lift. As you can see the difference between the two eyes. It's quite a lot. Now we're going to try the other one. The colossal water, waterproof mascara. I've, I've used the colossal one. For a long, 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 long time. And they've really been good for me. I haven't used the waterproof one. So this is the brush. It looks like that. You can see it. It's really hard. Uh, it's quite a big brush. I like big brushes because I know what I'm doing. <laughs> so let's put this on my other eye and see what happens. This is a lot drier. In the formula and like I told you I am gonna put more than one layer on each eye so let's see what happens now I don't know if you have ever noticed that your eyes are different this eye is always the one that looks best on me and this eye is always the one that kind of ends up a little bit different every time <laughs> so but the lashes are pretty much the same, so we're going to see what happens. I'm going to continue and put the layers on, and I'm going to do that, and then you're going to see what the difference is between the two. Now, the 
the final layer and we'll see what happens. I know which one I think is the best one. Um, if you have a look. I mean, both are really, really, really nice and they work really, really good. But I think that honestly, this one, um, it has to be the better one. It almost looks like I have false lashes, to be honest. It is really, really nice. Um, this one is as well. I don't know, maybe it's not really fair to uh, compare a uh, waterproof mascara to a normal one, but this is, this is amazing. I mean, for my tiny little eyelashes. The Falsis Lash Lift Mascara I mean, the two compared, I would easily say that uh, this is the one I would go with because look at that, that looks really nice. So I let my hair down and I'm showing you now the end result. This is this eye and that's the Lash Lift Mascara. And this is the Colossal. Mascara, and they are both Maybelline, but this one for sure that's the one that I would go with. So, if you are choosing between the two, okay, you might like this one a lot better. Uh, I don't know how this is if it's very smudgy and very comes off easy or whatever during the day I am a very very hot and sweaty person so if this comes out then I'm gonna like this one better but as it looks I really like this one for sure that's my first choice and that's what I think is the best one so uh, thank you for watching uh, leave a comment down below do you have any favorite what's your favorite mascara and have you tried any of these? What did you think about them? And um, maybe there's something else I can try. I don't know. So we'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to keep watching my videos. Let me know what you think and let me know if I should do something else and uh, give me advice. Take care, bye.